Greetings Mac Warriors, hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is TTB and this of course is German Mac Engineering and today guys I am up for some jagged action. Get it? Jagged action? Eben Jaguar? No? Okay, bad joke? Alright. It's time to bring out the bunny ears today guys, so let's go ahead and turn this bad boy around so you can see what's going on here. And for those of you who can count, nine missile tubes on each hard point and you know what this means this is going to be a full-on armor shredder atm team support eben jaguar how many times can i say that max name without saying eben jack that is going to be the question and no this time doesn't count all right let's have a look at the loadout guys so I chose to use the s3 de course right here which is the eben jaguar damn it That didn't take long, did it? So this is the Ebon Jaguar Hero Mac, uh, but you can also use any Ebon Jaguar for this. What you need to use is the left arm of the Charlie and the right arm of the Charlie, and then the right and left torso from, for example, the Prime, or uh, you could also use the Charlie once again. And that will give you four missile hardpoints, and with that you can put in four ATM-9 launchers, a clan tag, a clan active probe, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tons of ammo. Now you could argue you might not even need the active probe. I mean, you get a little bit of range boost and targeting gain time boost, so it's not that bad. But you could throw it out and just add another ton of ammo. I will leave that up to you whether you choose to do that or not. What you have to do though is to lower the head armor a little bit and the leg armor a little bit to get all this ammo into the mech. Now. In terms of firepower, guys, with this we have uh, 27 firepower times 4 in very close range, which is really, really nice. Um, if it's just right in front of us, then the firepower is going to be uh, 72. If the enemy target is, however, away from us, that is an entirely different story. And if I'm correct here, and I'm going to use my calculator just to calculate, and I say. 108 damage. That is the damage that we will get. 27 times 4. If a target gets into that very, very close area of um, what do we have here? 130 to 260 meters. And at that range, you will just shred through any target, guys, especially with the tag that will help uh, with the um, lock on and the increased missile accuracy. Now, the speed is going to be 81 kph, so that allows us to keep in the sweet spot or close with targets very, very quickly. Very, really nice for a mech that has 65 tons. The firepower is ridiculous, guys. Let's just jump into the skill tree. I've talked about the build for way too long. So, on this Ebon Jaguar, the skill tree is going as follows, and... Um, <laughs> The matches you're about to see, I played them with like points in, in Gauss Charge and Laser Duration and whatnot. It was it was a total mess. I forgot to change the skill tree. But for you guys, I'm cleaning up my act. So this is a real skill tree that you should use. It's going to have High Explosive 1 and 2, Missile Spread 1 and 2, Missile Rack 1 and 2, and some of the Heat Gen nodes on the left-hand side of the skill tree. We're running the left side of the Survival Tree with one extra point in Skeletal Density. Then we jump into the Operations Tree. We take the full Operations Tree for maximum heat efficiency and heat storage. Then we take the sensor tree for radar deprivation as well as seismic one and two. And on the auxiliary tree, a double cool shot with cool shot cooldown. If you don't want to have seismic again, you can go ahead and maybe take the double artillery strike. Guys, this thing is amazing. I've had a lot of fun with this. Let's just take it into a dropship and uh, let, let's see what happens. Um, with a lead up like that, you know it's gonna be crazy, right? So, I'll see you there. Alrighty guys, here we are on our first map. It is going to be Hibernal Rift, and we're walking towards the middle. We are the first person up, as always, so let's go ahead and find our you first target. target. And that looks like our first customer. That's a Cyclops coming in at 480 meters. That is a good range to still harass with the ATMs. As you can see, 8% gone from that mech. And we're gonna do the same thing again, get the tag on, and do some more harassment. Uh, he's got Learn 5's galore, 2 medium pulses and attack, so that's a horrible, horrible build. You should never build a mech like that, guys. It is just painfully bad. So uh, I'm gonna try and kill that mech as soon as possible because I don't want to see that eyesore out here. Let's go on to the enemy even Jack here. 
the Eben Jack that is an Eben Jack. I wonder how many times I'm gonna <laughs> mispronounce that thing. But uh, it's alright, so let's try and give that enemy Eben Jack another salvo here. Uh, I think I hit him a little bit at least. Uh, doesn't matter though, we go around the corner and onto the enemy Cyclops. Whoop, never mind, there was a teammate in the way. I didn't do damage to him, but I think half my missiles got caught. It is back, that's a bummer. Okay, the enemy Cyclops is trying to run away, but he is very close to me. This is full damage range, we go full salvo and we delete the abomination off the playing field. And now, we can look towards engaging that enemy Griffin here, who's also got Lerm 5s. Hopefully get a, a lock onto him, if we can, maybe now. There we go, get the missiles in, and once again get blocked by a Vapor Eagle. I see something going in here, I see, I see a, a pattern developing. Well, doesn't matter, we get the kill, and now we find ourselves in front of an enemy Cyclops sniping here with lots of LB10s. Luckily I don't have to brawl with this guy, but I can go ahead and do the damage to him with my ATMs, and my teammates should be able to take him down easily. Now the problem is we're actually binding too many mechs here on the side, with me this is uh, actually 6 mechs here, which means that the enemy team is pushing in through the center without any problems. So uh, let's find a little target here, maybe the Zeus that is on the backside of the enemy team, and shoot him onto his own backside. Um, together with my buddy here, we should be doing a lot of damage with our ATMs and just rip into this Prozeus. Yeah, his side torso is very, very open. He's gonna drop one any second now. There we go, his LB10 is gone, his Ultra 2 is gone. That's an MRM30 thing now, so that's basically a slightly larger ribbon mech at this point. Okay, enemy Hunchback 2C coming in. That is a Brawler build with SRMs. Okay, we shoot him and we go to cover. Hopefully get some teammates back up here while I go around the corner. Try to go onto the enemy Zeus and his buddy. Go, Zeus is down. Let's see where the SRM boat is. He's actually running away from me, 130 meters. There we go, there come the ATMs ripping into the enemy Hunchback and we just keep on running. As again, a Vapor Eagle very close to me. I'm getting scared. Hopefully we can go around the corner here, get some more damage onto the enemy targets here, maybe on India here. Side toss is open, side toss is gone, and the whole mech's gone. Okay, fine by me. Yeah, can you? No. Again, the ass of the Vapor Eagle in my face. What is what is what is going on, guys? This is becoming a running gag. Okay, well, here's the problem now. My team is continuing the rotator potato. I'm getting engaged by a raven, and there is also an crit draw on me, which is actually in perfect range to do some good damage here, so I'm going to stay onto the enemy crit draw. That seems to be the most dangerous target still around. Problem is, uh, he's getting closer. Maybe I can get one more salvo in. Yep, and that's it. At that point, he's close to distance. I'm right, down in the gully destroyed. and I just lost my side torso with right three of my four weapons. Destroyed. I only have 100 ATMs left, but that, with those 100 ATMs, guys, I could do 300 damage. However, I will not be permitted to do that damage because my teammates left me out to dry to go play with two enemy lights down in the gully because that is the correct tactical choice. It's not, but... Let's say, let's say guys, we had f about four and a half minutes in battle. Target let's see okay. what the team does with the enemy, how they deal with the enemy targets. The enemy team consists of a spider now, there's the quick draw IV-4 still out there, and something else, I think a raven or something. So let's see, we've got two SRM-4s here on this guy, we've got two heavy medium lasers on this guy, and the Vapor Eagle with, uh, I believe, Target ATMs okay. and Target. maybe mediums or smalls. We'll see in a second here once I tap over. Yep, okay, so I was actually correct about the mechs still alive. There's the Vapor Eagle. He's got ATM 12s. He's gonna go onto the quick draw, which is the correct target choice here. And since we opened him up quite a bit, um, we should be able to see that my teammates are able to kill this guy um, if they go for his legs. Because the legs are very open, so you're not gonna win this fight on side torsos here. As wicked as my teammates are, you have to go for the legs. And luckily, the Arctic Cheetah realizes that and actually goes for the legs with the heavy medium lasers. There we go. That's one leg broken. And once the other leg gets broken, it is the left leg. Left leg, left leg, the other left. There we go, beautiful. Okay, so he's down. Now it is a 2-on-2, two two, unfortunately, because the Vapor Eagle also died. So it is Mist Links against Raven and against Spider combined with an Arctic Cheetah. Now the Raven is a one-shot. One good post laser salvo from the Ra Mist Links is gonna kill the Raven. Let's see how many we take. Uh, nope. One. Two. Three. Four, five, Target six, destroyed. finally, two ER large laser raven guys, destroyed. always his XL engine, always go for side torso, easy kill. Now, it's only the spider left, and uh, he's got light PPC, two medium lasers. Okay, well, the light PPC is not that much of a problem, the medium lasers might be, um, what might be a problem is if my teammates decide to spread out. 
The enemy has moved away towards the left hand side, so it's gonna be Charlie 4, Bravo 4. And here, here he is, Bravo 4. Teammate looking straight at him. Um, now they can go ahead and engage onto him, but. Uh, what is this? What is, what is this communication, <laughs> guys? I mean, look at this. Okay, well, uh, the Mistlix has now been found, and if he twists the wrong way, don't shield with that arm, dude. Okay, he decides to shield with the left torso, he gets his left torso taken apart, that's unfortunate. Uh, his teammate is still out somewhere in the boonies, trying to find the, I don't know, Father Christmas or something. Um, but on the plus side, at least the clock is ticking down. Now, he should see that his teammate is low signal, if anything, but guys, the better way is just to use your command wheel, bring it up, and go enemy spot. It even works on people that are under stealth, and that will let your uh, teammates know the blip on the radar. It is so easy to do, and there's so many people just don't know how to do it. And uh, I keep saying it, but for every person I teach, there's 10 that don't know it. Okay, left leg. Left leg. The other left leg. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, let's try this again. Left leg. Left leg. Yes. Almost. Okay. One more salvo and he's gonna be dead. I think we're gonna win this. Left leg. <sighs> ay, ay, ay. Okay. One touch. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Nope. He literally just has to run into him once or something. It's so sad. He puts an artillery strike and helps with teammate jumping into there. But luckily the teammate decides to go for a nice boosted jump shot. Whew. 12 kills over 11. Insane mission time. But um, let's let's see how we did. I think we left lived about through half of this match. And with that we did 3 killing blows, 8 assists, 2 solo kills, 6 Kill most damage dealt, 1300 damage, and we tanked almost 700 with 11 components destroyed. So, um, look at the damage numbers on the team, guys. Um, I would say we did a pretty good job of uh, dishing out the damage to the enemy team. 800 match score, almost. And guys, if you enjoyed this content, check out my Patreon page and become an active member of Team TTB. And if you see TTB out there, support him. Don't run away from him, unless he's the enemy. Then running away is permitted, although cowardly. I will forever see you in disgust. <laughs> Just kidding. So, next map coming up, we're going to be here on the Grim Plexus. And uh, I saw the enemy team Target pushing from Target. Gulf 5 towards Echo 5, or at least some of them. So, I'm guessing that uh, pack mentality will set in and they will be all there. Uh, especially since I didn't see any targets in the classic Hotel 6 Gulf 6 area. Now, there's an enemy UAV up. Uh, of course, we'll see whether teammates find uh, themselves inclined to acquiesce my request and we shoot down the UAV. Uh, I'm just gonna try and find some targets here and I see some fire coming from the right hand flank. So, naturally because I'm a nosy guy I'm gonna go ahead and investigate and we find half the enemy team. Alright, uh, let's find the target here and let's shoot them in the face. Maybe the Griffin that is a little bit forward. Yeah, there we go. Full salvo into him. He just lost a lot of his CT armor. I'm gonna do the same thing again and if my wolf hunt button doesn't block half of them. Uh, we're actually good, uh, in good shape here. Uh, that is painful, that's enemy mad cat coming in, we did some damage to him, luckily it is just strings and nothing too crazy, so while we're taking some damage here, it is all spread damage, we send some presents after the arctic cheetah, take away his arm, beautiful, and uh, I'm gonna still try and hold this right hand flank here, also guys, pray, uh, pay a little bit of attention to the mini map here, I'm trying to hold the right hand flank, look at where the rest of my team is. Um, and look at what they are engaging. Like some of them are engaging on the right hand flank, but I would actually guess that half my team right now is not shooting anything. They're just standing there waiting for the enemy to come towards them, um, which is a really, really bad move because your teammates up in the front that are actually trading with the enemy, they are getting ground up by the enemy targets while you guys are just standing around doing nothing. So, guys, a firing line only works if everybody is firing and not just half the team. This this isn't 18th century, okay? So, let's go in onto the enemy Atlas. Two LB10s to turn around further. This guy actually hurts if he hits me. Oh, yeah, and he actually hit me. That was painful. Uh, let's uh, trade some of that pain back to him. Open up his side torso. And uh, fall back on the right-hand flank. But... Uh, Still, not that much assistance coming. Uh, I don't think they have a good shot onto these targets. Let's go onto the Atlas once again, try to take away his side torso and twist away. Oh yeah, we took away both side torsos. Holy hell, this guy has been stripped and killed. Okay, what do we have here? It's an enemy Mr. Lynx, I think. And there's an enemy Orion coming up. I'm shielding with my left side here to not lose my right side torso with all these weapons. We are already down one ATM-9, so this is just... 75% of our total firepower, but it's okay, we'll keep the fire going and we will keep engaging here. We are actually far in the lead, 6 kills over 2. And uh, 
We'll just keep the fire going. We'd actually alpha strike this at this point, but I just like the chain fire because it gives me good control over my fire and I can choose to stop firing at any point if I so choose to. Um, spraying and praying onto that enemy blackjack, but uh, he died before. And well, let's try and see if we can get some fire onto the enemy fire starter. Nope, never mind. And if he stays behind that big boulder, I won't be able to do any damage to him as well. Four flamers, four medium lasers, and all my team on him. It's interesting how they all start pushing when there's only one target left. All of a sudden, the braveness erupts. Yeah, was a lucky one. <laughs> all the pack mentality uh, beating up the fat little kid in the schoolyard. Zero killing blows, none assists. Three kill most damage dealt, almost a thousand damage done, 321 damage taken, and four components destroyed. Once again, guys, this build performs very well. Just make sure to stick with your teammates so you have some backup when you need it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys soon. Have a great day.